everybody, an absolute pleasure and a privilege as always to be at Anfield as Liverpool host at Brentford in the 5.30 kickoff. Right now the team news, Liverpool, Jürgen makes three changes from the win over Fulham. Diogo Jota is fit and starts. So too Andy Robertson and Cody Gakbo are in. Jordan Henderson had a bit of a knock. He's OK, he's amongst the subs. So we go with Alisson in goal. Back line of Andy Robertson, Virgil van Dijk the captain, Ibrahima Karate, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Fabinho, Curtis Jones, Cody Gakpo. Will he play in midfield or will Jürgen switch it to a 4-2-3-1? We'll soon see. And then the front line, Darwin Nunez, Diogo Jota and Mohamed Salah. As for Brentford, well, Thomas Frank reverts to five at the back, bringing in an extra defender. Two changes from the win over Nottingham Forest. David Raya in goal, then Matthias Jorgensen, Ben Mee, the ex-Burnley man, Ethan Pinnock at the back, Aaron Hickey, Rico Henry, the wing-backs, and Frank Onyeka, Vitaly Janelt and Matthias Jensen in the middle, and the dangerous front pair, Ivan Tony and Brian Boimo. Alongside us for this one today, great to have her back, the goal machine, Natasha Dowie. Oh, cheers, Pete. Always love that introduction. Should be a great game today. You know, both are in good form. Liverpool unbeaten in seven. Brentford as well have won their last two games. I'm really excited about the matchup between Van Dijk and Tony as well. There's lots to be excited about, so let's hope it's a cracker. Absolutely. We certainly hope that for sure. So, we'll go silent. First of all, the national anthem. corner for Liverpool here at the Anfield Road end. Keep saying Ebu's not scored this season. Surely he's got to do before the end. He was so good at to get a good ball in. Corner clear. Comes back to Salah. Plays it back post up towards Van Dijk. Cleared away. Drops down to Jones. Edge of the area. Left foot. Great effort. Went through a crowd of players. Cleared. Comes back to Fabinho. Brentford blocking everything at the moment. On the right to Alexander-Arnold. Short to Salah. Two players in front of him. Mo Salah. Clever ball by Mo to the edge of the area. Fabino clips in. Van Dijk had it. Salah must be. And does put it away. At the back post. Mohamed Salah. Who else? Brentford are surrounding the referee. So we'll wait and see what VAR decide. At the moment, a goal is given. And Mohamed Salah has lashed the ball in the back of the net from close range. It was well worked. Virgil van Dijk claiming he's stayed on side there at the back post and knocking it across. And Mo Salah tucks it away. But we wait for Andre Mariner and VAR Natasha Dowie. Oh, he's, he's miles on he's side. Onside. Yeah, he's, he's miles on. It's a goal. It's one nil. It's, it's a goal. Play. No need for a long VAR check, that is. Mohamed Salah grabs his 30th goal of the season. Unbelievable. Great ball for Bino, back post, wasn't it? Oh, the whole play was brilliant, and Liverpool deserved the lead. Brilliant play here by Van Dijk, and Mo actually nearly misses it at first. He doesn't connect with it very well, but luckily he just connects with the second one to, yeah. to get it's a it big in. big roar because, for whatever reason, Anthony Taylor was stalling and stalling. Natasha Dowie, we said that the other week, and Neil Mellor was there. You're, you, you're a player, you play the game, you know that's onside. Yeah, absolutely. It shouldn't take that long. Thank God I'm not playing. No, it shouldn't take that long, but it's a great start again by Liverpool. Liverpool lead, and Mo Salah now has 100 goals for Liverpool at Anfield. 
Anfield in all competitions. He's only the eighth player in our history to do this. And he's also gone level with Steven Gerrard in joint fifth place in our all-time top scorers list. And Mo Salah has also equaled a club record, netting in eight consecutive home league games. Only Sir Roger Hunt and Fernando Torres have done that previous. Brentford ball into the area. Great challenge from Van Dijk away from Tony. Brentford applying pressure on the left though. Liverpool lead 1-0. Matthias Jensen plants it back post up towards Ben Mee. Van Dijk beats him in the air. Trent volleys it away. Down the middle. Now Jota. Can he get away? Jota flicks it over the defender. Jota's still going. Still Jota. Edge of the area. The defender bundles it back to David Raya. Oh, he... Matthias Jorgensen maybe got away with that one. Jota very nearly outpaced him. Now Robertson, wide left to Jones. That was unlucky again. Jota looking so sharp out there. Alexander-Arnold into the area. Great ball. Nunes! Oh, he's missed it. He's furious with himself. But I think that's a mark of a striker very low on confidence in front of goal. Because if we're being honest, Tash, that should be 2-0. That yeah. is a brilliant pass from Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's fuming with himself. He's in on goal. But he's onside, he's in, and then he, his left foot, he tries to hit it first time and plant it over the top. Massive chance. Fabinho, just as Tash was saying, give it away, but then Trent has smashed the ball to the left wing area. Unlucky. He can't get there. Jota. Jürgen just having a word there with Fabinho, because just as Tash Dowie was saying, Fabinho, deep in his own half, gives it straight to a Brentford player, and we were nearly in trouble. Trent rescued him and nearly turned defence into attack perfectly. He was unlucky. Now, Jota on the far side trying to win it for Liverpool. Brentford early ball over the top. And Van Dijk has been beaten. And Buemo is clean through on goal. Buemo scores. Good goal. No, it's offside, thankfully. I honestly cannot understand this rule. And as a centre forward, I'd be fuming. It's crazy, isn't it? Because I've, it's it, crazy. He's, he's held off Van Dijk. He's held off, I think it was yeah. Trent then. He's going to place it into the corner. He thinks it's a goal. He's going to celebrate it. And then the liner puts his flag up. Why can he not put the flag up earlier? I don't off, understand. He is offside as and well. And he is offside. He is offside. Waymo, the ball over the top. It's a great finish by him, it really is. But, yeah, correct call, yeah. but I don't know why it takes so long. I really don't. No. But, again, it's a similar feel, Steve. I don't know how you feel, but when we started so well against Tottenham, you know, two, three goals up, cruising, it was similar today. We've gone a goal up early. But I feel like now the pressure's back on again. It's become a bit transitional. And we need to... There is a VAR check, though. It's offside. I don't understand why they're VAR checking this at all. He's still checking it, Andre Mariner, by the way. He's still checking it. It's the tightest, He's offside. tight margins. He looks offside from the angles we've seen. He's still waiting, Andre Mariner. It's taken an eternity over this, Andre Mariner. With Anthony Taylor. Is it going to be an equaliser or is it going to stay 1-0? You think that looks offside, Tash, for yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. I'd say a foot offside at least. So, again, I don't know why this is taking so it long. It is offside, yeah. Yeah. You're right, I don't know why it takes Andre Mariner that long to, to see that when you've seen it straight away. Liverpool 1, Brentford nil. it stays. Liverpool lead, Alexander-Arnold to the left now to Costas Simicas. On for the injured Andy Robertson. Van Dijk, he was limping Robbo, wasn't he, Tash? Van Dijk over the top towards Salah. A oh, mistake, Gakpo's in, can he finish? Oh, he's put it over the top. Massive chance again for Cody Gakpo. But he can't keep it down. Yeah, we haven't got our shooting boots on today. You know, that's Gakpo, that's Nunes. We've had numerous chances to get these three points wrapped up here. It's a long, hopeful ball by Van Dyke. Actually, poor defending there by Brentford. And the touch looks good, but it's just the execution. Look, don't get me wrong, it's not it's not a sitter. No. But for someone of his quality, you've got to at least make the keeper make a save there and hit the target. It's a corner, but Van Dijk and Kanate aren't coming forward for it, and rightly so. Yeah, definitely. Great play there by Henderson, and both him and Milner there showed their experience. Milner switching the ball out to Trent. Henderson making that run there and, and winning the corner, and yeah, definitely play short here, see out the last 30 seconds, get the three points. I'll tell you what, we better take this corner, because Taylor's going to book another Liverpool player if we take our time. Salah to Gakpo. The final whistle goes! That is a huge 
huge three points for us, I tell you. We're grateful to hear the final whistle. That was a horrible game to play against for Liverpool. But sometimes you've got to win ugly. Brentford with a goalkeeper taking free kicks from the halfway line. He went up twice for corners. Defensively, we defended well here today to keep them out. We could have won by more. We missed some big chances. Mohamed Salah into the record books again. His 30th goal of the season. It's now one point off the top four. United play West Ham tomorrow. Yes, they have two games in hand, but we can only do what we can do. We keep winning. Fabinho edge of the area in the first half. Fall to the back post. Van Dijk headed it across goal. There was Mo Salah. Lovely control. Lashed it in from close range. Darwin Nunez missed a great chance. Put through by Trent. Placed over. Gakpo missed from right on the line. Waymo had a goal disallowed. Brentford were difficult to play against, but winning ugly. You have to do that. Liverpool won. Brentford nil.